hello there my friend welcome to the channel and thank you for watching congratulations to maurice osari for becoming lazio's manager remember few days ago i made a video saying that maurice osari could be a perfect manager for a team like lazio because he won't have any pressure over there maurice osari is somebody who likes to work long term okay he is not necessarily a shortcut kind of manager he need his own players and he need to work for a long term before you start seeing the end product Maurice Osari is somebody that I admire okay I respect him I respect his story he is not necessarily my cup of tea because I believe that football can be played many many ways okay and i believe also in youth so if somebody doesn't use youth in the team you have a problem with me but i don't hate you i will respect your work i will praise you when you do good but i also will criticize you especially if you don't use youth my problem with him back in the day was the fact that he said some horrible stuff about youth and about Kalim Hassan Adoy on the media and the way of play like continue to do the same things over and over again the same systems the same subs the same minute the same everything really so I got bored very quickly that is part of my life even with my videos my thumbnails my everything I do I don't want to repeat the same things over and over again so there were some games that was just like screaming for a change screaming to play a different kind of football but we were just like tiki taka passing 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 with no end product but he's somebody that i really respect for his history for everything he did for chelsea football club he won us the europa league at the end we ended up by finishing third in the league it's all good and i wanted him to continue give him the second season and see how it goes so i am not going to flip flop here and start saying how i was very very happy all the time with sari blah 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 just like uh, other people try to do all the time that somebody is successful you know even if they were their worst enemy they would just flip and say oh i always knew that he was good and blah 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 anyways it looks like Maurice Osari now is going to save chelsea football club or at least save some of his former players i made a video a few days ago about ruben ruben is the first target for Maurice Osari everybody knows that ruben played his best football under Maurice sari unfortunately that injury kind of stopped his development the rest is his story i'm not gonna repeat myself and now he been linked with uh, marcus alonso okay everybody called call him alonso but still a very good uh, uh fullback or oh, not even full back well back back in the day he played as a full back under Maurice Osari that's why I'm, I'm calling him a full back but he is a, a wing back you know uh, in that position he can do good you know especially he got the end product and he's very good in the final third and I remember when Maurice Osari joined Chelsea Football Club he said in the press conference that Marcos Alonso is going to be the best fullback in the world remember that press conference yeah and uh, I think he believes in him and in Italy the league is a little slower than the Premier League so he could do very good in Serie A better than in the Premier League so fingers crossed that that's happened because that is going to free another uh, space for Hakimi or whoever is going to be given a chance to join Chelsea Football Club and they are talking also about Kepa Arisa Balaga hmm. this one I think this is just like a paper talk or something they know that this is going to create some controversy and people are going to click and read this article you know what i mean imagine kepa arisa balaga with Maurice sari again after the big saga that happened uh 
uh, years ago in the final of Carabao Cup, Kepa Arisa Balaga refused to to respect Maurice Osari in front of the world. He said, I'm not coming off. Maurice Osari showed a lot of weaknesses, to be honest with you. It wasn't necessarily Kepa Arisa Balaba, Balaga's fault because at the end, the referee asked Maurice Osari what was his last decision. And guess what Maurice Osari said? Oh, he can stay. He can remain on the field. If you are strong enough, strong character, you will say he need to come out. You know what I mean? So it's not only Kepa Arisa Balaga fought, you have also to, to, to look from another perspective. But this one, I don't know, man. You let me know. Do you really see Maurice Osari walk with uh, Kepa Arisa Balaga again? Or you think this is just paper talk to make people laugh, to make people remember what happened and all that? That's what the media can do sometimes, you know? They will link you with some kind of crazy names just to get your attention because this is getting a lot of attention now Maurice Osari and Kepa Arisa Balaga for me I don't see it happening because Lazio still have a very good goalkeeper but you never know you know you never know this is football and if he does that if Sari does that he takes Marcos Alonso and Kepa Arisa Balaga and Ruben and maybe some some other players from from our academy or something man i'll be very happy and he will be forgiven <laughs> another thing to keep in mind is that sari is going to be linked with georgino for sure remember back in the day when he used to be called sari's son and all that just like mason mount was uh, lampard's son so he's going to be linked with georgino so the question is would you let georgino go and join sari or would you keep Jorginho in the team? Haha! -ha! This is a tough one, right? The Champions League winner. Are you gonna get rid of him just out of the blue? People started liking Jorginho now. But six months ago, if you asked 90% of Chelsea fans, they were going to say, get rid of Jorginho. He's not physical. He's not built for the Premier League. Blah, 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 blah. This is what football can do to you, brother. That tells you that nobody knows everything in football. Football is about the result. It's a result-based business. If you perform good, you can become a hero very quickly. People are going to switch. People are going to flip-flop all the time. So, let me know. Would you keep Jorginho or would you sell Jorginho in order to get somebody better? And who is better than Jorginho in that position? Anyways, guys, all the jokes aside, everything is going very good right now in the Chelsea community. We are waiting for the here we go. We are waiting for Erling Haaland. We are waiting for Ashraf Hakimi. And uh, yeah, keep... Uh, Keep in touch, man. Subscribe to the channel. Put your notification on so you will be noticed every time I upload a new video in this channel. God bless you. I will really appreciate your sub. It's just one click away and it's free. It's a win-win situation. Thank you so much and see you in the next one.